and greetings from KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Myself is Akshay, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Mathematics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangod. Here in this video, we are about to see a topic under analytical geometry of 2D and 3D, that is polar equations. So let us go into the PPT. First is polar coordinates. In this diagram, you see the pole O and the point P. The distance between O, P is mentioned as R, the radius vector, and the vectorial angle is denoted by theta. The polar coordinate at the point P is R, theta, which is equal to the Cartesian coordinate X, Y. In order to change the Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinates, we substitute X is equal to R cos theta, Y equal to R sin theta by the Pythagorean theorem. We know that R square equal to X square plus Y square. Then R will be equal to root of X square plus Y square. To know the value of theta, we take tan theta equal to opposite by adjacent which is equal to y by x then theta will be equal to tan inverse of y by x next distance between points and area of triangle we have two points p and q the coordinates r1 theta1 r2 theta2 respectively then the angle p o q will be theta2 minus theta1 then the equation of the distance is p q square equal to r1 square plus r2 square minus twice r1 r2 cos theta2 minus theta1 then the area of the triangle bca will be equal to triangle OBC plus triangle OCA minus triangle OBA. Then the equation is half R1 R2 sin theta 2 minus theta 1 plus R2 R3 sin theta 3 minus theta 2 plus R3 R1 sin theta 1 minus theta 3. Next is the equation of the straight line. By the diagram you see that a line is drawn from the pole O that is P and a perpendicular line OC. The equation of the straight line is x cos pi plus y sin pi minus P equal to 0. By substituting the value of y and x we have the final formula p equal to r cos theta minus pi so r and theta are variables p and pi are constants cartesian equation of the straight line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 the polar equation of the line is ar cos theta plus br sin theta plus c equal to 0 if c is not equal to 0 and the line does not pass through the pole we have to multiply it with minus k by c the general equation of the line is not passing through the pole is a cos theta plus b sin theta minus k by r. With this equation, we can calculate the equation of parallel and perpendicular straight lines. So, parallel straight lines, p equal to r cos theta minus alpha, p dash equal to r cos theta minus alpha. From this, we get k by r equal to a cos theta plus b sin theta, k dash by r equal to a cos theta plus b sin theta. In this case, it is enough if we change the constants alone. For perpendicular straight line, the line perpendicular to k by r equal to a cos theta plus b sin theta is a k dash by r equal to a cos pi by 2 plus theta plus b sin pi by 2 plus theta. Similarly, for p equal to r cos theta minus alpha, p dash equal to r cos pi by 2 plus theta minus alpha. Next is circle. C is the center. P is the point on the circle with the coordinates r comma theta. A is the radius. Angle C O P will be equal to theta minus theta 1. The equation of the circle is r square minus 2 r r1 cos theta minus theta 1 plus r1 square minus a equal to 0. If the pole lies on the circumference of the circle, then r1 will be equal to a, then the equation of the circle becomes r equal to 2a cos theta minus theta 1. If the pole lies on the circumference and the line passes through the center, we get r1 equal to 0, then the equation of the circle will become r equal to 2a cos theta. Next, chord. Generally, chord is a line segment that joins two points on the circumference of the circle. A chord only covers the part inside the circle. It is not equal to the diameter. The chord joining the point whose vectorial angles are theta1 and theta2 on the circle are equal to 2a cos theta. With the help of the equation of circle and line, we get 2a cos theta1 cos theta2 equal to r cos theta minus theta1 minus theta2. For the equation of the tangent, theta will be equal to alpha. We have to put theta 1 equal to theta 2 equal to alpha. Then the equation will be r cos theta minus 2 alpha equal to 2a cos square alpha. Next polar equation of the conic. With the diagram we see that kd is the directrix, f is the focus, p is the point on the conic section. Next the equation of the conic is l by r equal to 1 plus e cos theta. If the axis fk of the conic makes an angle alpha with the initial line, fp makes an angle theta minus alpha with the initial line and so the equation of the conic will be L by R equal to 1 plus E cos theta minus alpha. For the directrix of the conics corresponding to the focus F, then the equation is L by R equal to E cos theta minus alpha. 
So the change in the value of E changes the shape of the conic. So E equal to 0, the conic will become the circle. If E is lesser than 1, the conic is an ellipse. If E is equal to 1, the conic will be a parabola. General properties of a conic. If the tangent at P to a conic meets the directrix at K, then the angle of KSP will be equal to 90 degree, that is right angle. The tangent at the extremities of any focal chord of a conic intersects on the corresponding directrix. The feet of the perpendiculars drawn from a focus to the tangent of a conic will lie on a circle. The locus of the intersection of the perpendicular tangents to a conic will be a circle. So, from this video, we have learnt polar equations, Cartesian equations into polar equations, then the area of triangle, equation of a circle, equation of a card and equation of a conic. Hope you understood. Thank you.